Thanks for joining us. I'm Paula Evan with a WBZ News update. Our top stories this Monday, the death toll in the Israel-Hamas war is now at least 1,200 people, including nine Americans. And bombings and gun battles continue for a third day. Here at home, residents are holding a rally to stand in solidarity with Israel, which is now at war with Hamas after those attacks left hundreds dead over the weekend. Crowds began gathering on Boston Common with signs that read, Stand with Israel. People were emotional and described themselves as being numb as they grieve the news about the attacks. And this is what one rabbi told WBZ. Yeah, it's heartbreaking. It's, uh, you know, we're devastated. This is the worst tragedy, travesty, massacre uh, of Jewish people in my lifetime and the darkest moment probably in Israel's 75-year history. And we are devastated and heartbroken. And it's not just kind of far over there. This is deeply personal for all of us. We have tens of thousands of Israelis in this community, and all of us have friends and family and are being touched by this. It's a message of solidarity. It's a message of unity. We come together around our shared values, uh, and we stand together with Israel. We grieve with Israelis, but we also stand with a strong, clear, moral voice that we do not condone terror, that we do not condone the dehumanization of Israelis and the delegitimization of Israel and that we will not stand for this. A 23-year-old man is dead following a shooting in Chelsea. Police say Santos David Canizales was found on the ground with gunshot wounds along Congress Avenue about midnight. He was taken to Mass General where he died. Right now, no word on any arrests. Salem police are warning residents about a possible attempted child abduction. They say three children were walking near Carrollton and Bellevue Friday when this blue SUV approached them. The driver told the children to get in the car and the children walked away. They told investigators a man and a woman who both appeared to be of Asian descent were inside. Anyone with information is asked to call Salem police. It's a sunny Monday afternoon. It's also pretty chilly out there. We are in the 60s today. Feels like the first week of fall. Let's get a check of the forecast now with Jason Michael. And here we go again for much of New England. The first full week of October not looking like the second full week of October. In fact, some temperatures will likely be riding some 10 to 15 degrees cooler than a week ago. Upper 50s touching on near 60 degrees in several areas. Now you can see this is a very large area of low pressure. Really, really digging deep in terms of a cloud deck centering in south across the upper Midwest the Northeast as well as New England. We still have some bands of clouds now beginning to move through the Boston Metro and they'll likely overspread the region throughout the afternoon and partially for the evening hours. I think overnight tonight will likely thin some of our clouds out and also allow our temperatures to fall as well. Current dew point temperatures dry as a bone in the 30s as well as the 40s, all because of that northerly wind that's kind of really taking up residence across the vast majority of the New England states there. So dew point temperatures will likely be in the basement for the rest of the week here, allowing for things to stay relatively dry. For the next 12 hours, this is where we're going. We're going to top the roller coaster here around 2, 3 p.m. this afternoon and then kind of cruise right back back into the mid to low 50s overnight tonight, likely going back into the 40s. We'll top out at about 62 degrees here in the city, mostly sunny skies and breezy conditions. Pair four is expected overnight tonight in the city with low 40s and perhaps even some wind chills in the upper 30s waking up for Tuesday morning. Tuesday afternoon, just a little bit cooler than today, maybe a degree or so, but by Wednesday, we got more of a southerly wind that is igniting across the area, pushing our temperatures roughly a handful of degrees warmer than on Tuesday, and then we'll have some extra clouds to move in on Thursday afternoon. You can already bet we've had our fair share of wet days here in the Boston Metro and, and frankly, much of New England. This is a look at the numbers here where you can see on average, at least so far, we've been just over 40 inches. The yearly average is 43 and a half almost. So we are already clocking in that and we still have a couple more months to go. So with that said, we've also had above normal temperatures as well. Certainly for the first half of October, at least the first week of October, the second week, we're gonna be really, really cooler, but also offering some of those fall-like feels that we've been waiting for for quite some time. So 
Let's talk about the forecast here. We're going to put things in motion here where you can see some of those clouds begin to kind of fan throughout the region. I said a shower here and there on Tuesday cannot be ruled out. This is more or less some garden variety type showers. A few more clouds move in here. You can see for the first half of Wednesday, but I think thereafter though, we'll kind of clear things out in the latter half of the week is going to be a little bit better than the first half of the week. So some clouds could be moving on through late Friday into Saturday, and this is our next weather maker moving through that will crawl north out of the DC Metro through the I-95 quarter from New York all the way up through Boston. Boston, and that'll likely overspread the region in some moderate to heavy rain showers that'll likely continue throughout the afternoon for us on Sunday. So Saturday and Sunday likely going to be a wet one, but we'll make it through the week pretty much OK in the mid to low 60s. We're back in the 50s for daytime highs on Saturday and Sunday. Paula. Jason, I'm Paula Evan. This has been a WBZ News Update.